The next card along is the Modify card. Now, to get to this card we simply click on the icon and it switches us over to the Modify card. Now the only reason we can see information in this bottom half of the Modify part of the command panel is because I have an object selected. Now if this object weren't selected, it would be left blank. And so would these areas here and so would even the Modify list. So for the Modify palette to work, we need to have a selected object. A few things you will find in the Modify palette, ignoring the areas here, is the object name, and I can modify this here. I can also modify the colour of the object here. So, if at creation time, we don't feel like giving it a name and a colour, we can do that later on. We will delve into doing all of this stuff at creation time when we play with the creating objects in this CD. The next area down is the modifier list. Now this will give us a list of modifiers that we can apply to this object. And we will play with these more in the modifying objects part of the CD. Okay, the next thing down is a list of objects within the, say, a group or a boolean set or so on. And we will play with this more as we um, get in the modify part of 3D Studio Max. But for now, we're just going to go over these areas. Okay, we'll just ignore this area for now, but these are tools to use to, say, hold our modifications to show us the effects of what our modifications are going to do and so on. And the area at the bottom are all the controllable attributes for this object. And this command palette will change as we have different modifiers applied to our objects or different objects even. And as I was saying before, this area can be scrolled up and down.